Green Bay. 30 seconds. Well, your weekend will start right here. Talk about next weekend. <laughs> guys um i know it's been a while i think i'm just gonna do on and off videos for you now um i'm in a target parking lot right now i just got done i was going in for halloween clearance but it was already picked over and it wasn't really good clearance this year even decorations from target but i found this and i wasn't even going for this um it's a slip cover for my sofa keegan's sofa I think I'm ready to lose the, I think it's 80s orange throw up color. So I'm hoping this will work. This was, an, somebody bought it online and they didn't like it so they return it. So I saved $130 on it. It was regularly $159 and I got it for $27. So that's pretty good. Um, now I'm just going to head back to my house, go study, and then I'll be heading out to work. See if you guys will you're not gonna stay there. That's cool. Alright, that's not working. So today is the official beginning of initiation weekend. I guess that could have been yesterday, but um today's Saturday, so tonight we have a um colony meeting in an hour and a half, I guess. And then we have a few events after our meeting um, that we're gonna do. And then tomorrow is initiation. So yeah, I'll try to get a clip of my outfit, um, white dress, a typical white dress for initiation. Um, hey guys, um, it's like 12.30ish on initiation day. I said I was gonna show you what I was wearing. I just curled my hair, thought it'd look a little presentable. I think my curls are going to fall out because it's like really super windy today. But curl my hair. I hairsprayed it if I didn't just say that. Um, and I'm going to show you what my dress looks like. Actually, I'm going to go into the other room because you can't see it in the bathroom. So this is my dress. And actually, yes, these are the shoes I am wearing with them. Because they were the only white shoes. I, well, I have two white shoes. But she said we don't need, if we already have white shoes that cover your entire foot, we don't need to go out and spend the money. But um, this is my dress. I got it from Dillard's on clearance. Um, they require your shoulders to be covered during initiation. The actual dress can be three fingers in length, which mine is. If my hand wouldn't go, there we go. Um, but since it's not covering the shoulders, they said just to wear a white or tan color cardigan or cream. I don't know. But so I'm going to do that. And I have a human body test tomorrow. What else is new? So, um... <laughs> If you look at this, I was actually studying my notes while I was doing my hair. So yeah. Um, so I can officially become sisters with all the girls that I thought I've been sisters with for like two, three months now. But yeah, maybe I'll snap or I'll Snapchat you guys. Maybe I'll send you some videos. Maybe I'll record some videos throughout the day so you can watch. Um, I think it might be a little difficult because, well. I don't know. But I'm really disappointed. I can't wear any of my jewelry. So there's my promise ring. There's the necklace Keegan got me for my 18th birthday. And then the ring he got me for my 20... No, 19th birthday. I'm so sad. They said we can wear jewelry if we were married or engaged. But I am not yet. So <laughs> I'm really sad. My neck feels really naked. Also, also, I think you can see this. My neck has had like an irritation. It's like swollen and I think I scratched it to the point where it got started to bleed a little bit. I don't know why that happened, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. 
Oh, hello world. I feel like it's Friday. Actually, I don't feel like it's Friday, but I feel like I should be done with school. Um, I have one more day until official Thanksgiving break, I guess. Um, it's Thursday and tomorrow, I feel like I don't have school tomorrow, but I have an exam actually. It's just a, a food science exam. So yeah, you know, um, I have work tonight and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night, and I should go home. Well, I'm trying to, like, switch my shift on Sunday, so I'm not doing the late shift. I'm doing, like, the morning shift from 6 a.m. to 2. But anyways, we'll see. I'm going to try to do some uh, Thanksgiving videos, Thanksgiving week videos. Um, it might be difficult because, oh, maybe I could do, like, Black Friday videos. Yeah. Um, we'll see. I do have to be back here for Thanksgiving because I work up here from 6 to 2 on Thanksgiving. But um, I am working at home when I go back, so I'm working wherever I go, so I can't really record videos at work too much. But I'll try to record some stuff if I do anything, so we'll see. Oh, hey guys. Oh my gosh, I get my finger out of the way. Um, it's kind of a cold day, that's why I'm chilling in the hood. Um, so it was officially break now, I guess. Um, all done with my classes for the day. Um, my exam this morning, I think I missed, I'm too lazy to do the math. I think I missed three questions. I got like a, I got a 93. So that's good. And, um, I don't know, in like 10 minutes, I'm going to work, not to work, but just to a meeting. And I don't know why they have like all these meetings all the time. Like every two weeks or something, they have a meeting. But the stupid thing is, is the mandatory, like all employee meetings, um, is while I'm in school. Like, I have class at that time. I can't go. So then they have makeup sessions on Monday. The mandatory ones are on Tuesday. Then the makeups are on Monday. And I'm still in class. Like, I can't come if I'm in class. So I think, like, Fridays at 2 o'clock is, like, your absolute last resort to get these meetings checked off. I don't know. Like, one one week you'll do, like, a nursing meeting. And then, like, you'll do, like dietary meeting like I don't know but so hopefully that won't take forever and then tonight at work so it's Friday the Friday before Thanksgiving so Thanksgiving's Thursday we are doing our Thanksgiving meal tonight and supposedly we are going to be serving over 200 people I have no clue how we're doing this because usually we only serve, I would say, 20 to 30 residents over in long-term care. And then, of course, we have, like, a north and south and a rapid recovery section. But in long-term care, like, it's not – it's under 50. So my thing is, is if we're having 200 people, over 200 people in long-term care, where are they going to be for dinner? Because we don't have room for 200 people. And also, I think it looked kind of bad us giving them like styrofoam plates for a Thanksgiving meal. We only have maybe, maybe 50 plates, like actual plates, because they're for the residents. So I'm really worried. And also, tonight we only have three dietary aids. And <laughs> I'm so worried I'm not going to get out of there till like way past when I'm going supposed to be leaving. But, I don't know, it's just bugged me that last night was a normal night and we had I think six aids and we got out like right on time so now we're going to have probably like over four or five times the normal amount of people serving and yet we have half less aids than we did last night I'm so worried I don't know I'm gonna be exhausted I know when I get off anyways but I'm gonna get ready to head to the meeting and I'll talk to you guys later Oh gosh, I can't keep it straight. Hey guys, I just got back to my apartment. Lovely background. Um, I just had my meeting with the, I don't even know what he was called, like operations guy. I don't know, he just told me, it was only me who showed up. He said there was another person who was gonna come, so we waited like an extra 10 minutes and that person never came. So anyway, he was just telling me like what to do or what is I should do if there's like a wall that needs repaired, like how I should report it, what to do in case of like a tornado, fire drill, something, somebody pulls the alarm, anything along those lines. Um, that was pretty much it. 
and I ran into the kitchen real quick to see if they wanted me to come in earlier because I'm scheduled at four and um, serving is going to start at six. But I know since we're serving over 200 people that it might be a little hectic tonight. And I go in the kitchen and there's like five, six, seven people just like running around. And um, I saw our dining services manager and I was like, hey, do you want me to come in now? She's like, yeah, you want to start scooping jello? And I'm like, um, I'm not even wearing work clothes or punched in. So I'm coming back real quick to change and then I'll go back because I just don't want to be there all night. So I'm going to do what I can do. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later, as I always say. So